Ed Padgett here from edpadgett.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about your traps. These are the muscles that are on the top of your shoulders. They go away from, they go from the top of the neck here to the edge of the uh, shoulder, and they actually make a diamond type, type shape that goes down in between your shoulder blades. And they can divide, be divided into three areas. You can have the upper traps, the middle traps, and the lower traps. Now, what I want to show you today is for your upper traps. Now, the word of caution here, most people have a predominant upper trap anyway. So this exercise might not be for you. They usually have an inhibited lower trap. And if you have an inhibited lower trap, there's some other exercises you can do for that, which I will be posting shortly. But this is an upper trap exercise. So let's say you go to the gym and you see guys lifting weights and they're lifting up and down like this, right? That's what they're trying to get with that upper trap exercise. But if you think about this upper trap, it does uh, a little bit more than just lift the shoulders up, right? So now, if I take a band and I put it down on the ground here and I walk away from it, I start getting a little, um, so I'm gonna put on a different one here. I start getting a little stretch through the top of my shoulder, right? And you can see that happening, it's stretching through this area. Now, if I'm to pull that band towards me, I'll be using these retractors of my shoulder blade. But then if I lift that band up, I'm getting that upper trap. So from here, you can see how this is a great stretch and we stretch muscles before we contract them, right? So this is a great stretch for that, for that muscle and then contracting it is gonna be the great stimulus that it needs to get stronger or to get that mind-body connection back to it. So I wanna show you that exercise. So here I am, pre-positioned in a stretch and then I'm bringing that shoulder up and back and I'm getting way more range of motion here than I would do with just simply lifting a dumbbell or a barbell shrugging my shoulders and depending on how stiff the resistance is I can actually get a really good workout into those upper traps so if you're looking to put on a little bit of size in the upper traps think about doing this one if you're looking to put a little bit more strength up into the side of your neck top of your shoulders think about doing this one if you're looking to get the shoulders to retract a little bit more we'll be talking about the middle traps and the lower traps especially important people with scoliosis and back pain. Now, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also, if you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one call with me where we can chat about your specific situation and work out what you need to do for back pain or for scoliosis, just click the link in the, uh, in the space below, book a call in my calendar, and I'll, I'll tell you exactly what you need to do for your situation. Speak to you soon.